This is a demonstration of the C200CB. The C200CB is a programmable coder bake plate combination from cost-effective equipment. It features auto-tuning PID and digital control and a resilient quarter VGA touchscreen offers an easy programming interface with graphic monitoring capabilities. The C200CB is a robust and high performance spin coder bake plate system capable of providing production performance in a small benchtop package. With its convenient and user friendly design, the C200CB programs are easily entered, monitored, and stored. With its small footprint, the C200CB is perfect for any low volume or R&D laboratory processing environment. It has a maximum spin speed of 6,000 RPM, a maximum ramp of 30,000 RPM per second, speed accuracy of plus and minus one RPM, a maximum substrate that will fit in the bowl is 200 millimeters, the hot plate has a maximum temperature of 300 degrees C, and the entire system is powered by 120 volts AC single phase. There is a short boot up that takes place. Okay, we're now at our main screen. First thing I'd like to show you is this is very easy to operate. Um, we have uh, run, edit, and diagnostics. First, let's run a program. You can choose between bake or spin. And I'm already loaded this recipe in, but I'll show you again how we do that. You could go and just travel up and down and choose the uh, recipe that you want to load. Um, you can make new ones and put them in. Uh, it'll hold up to 20 different recipes. I'm going to choose this one first. This is a test one that I wrote. Now what this does is this will run the uh, wafer up to 6,000 RPM at a ramp rate of 1,000 RPM per second and then ramp down. It has a sensor in here so it will not operate unless the lid is closed. As you can see right here the display says lid open. There, closed. First we center our wafer and we'll start to spin the centering. Now we will start our program. The flashing light on the front panel here tells you that the cycle is done. Just hit stop. Now I'm going to do that again, but this time I'm going to measure the displayed RPM with our very accurate infrared tachometer. So, all I have to do is put this down, make sure we're still in the right one. Okay, here we go. There we go.
we have it, 6,000 RPM. Let me push our stop button. Uh, I'm, the next one for our demonstration is the next set of tests, another one I wrote. Now what this one will do is this one will progress from zero up to a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, all the way up to six thousand in different steps, and then step back down to zero RPM. Um, I'm also going to use the tachometer for this one as well. You center it. Now, there's, oop, get on it. There's 1,000. Two thousand. Three thousand. Four thousand. Five thousand. And the maximum speed of six thousand. And there we go, that's the full range. Okay, we're back to the controller. Um, I wanted to show you the edit process. The edit process, uh, you can edit either bake or spin, and this allows you to go into the programs and change your speeds, your acceleration, your time, uh, up to 20 different steps. Um, it's very easy to do, you just can go into each one of these parameters, you can clear it, and then you could enter a different figure if you wanted, and then just do that. And then you would save, I changed it to 500, so you'd save, uh, you could put a new name in here if you wanted to, uh, you could save as uh, uh, test, um, test 1J, uh, or pardon me, uh, clear, you could save it as T E S T test uh, A A. Let's call it that. And and okay, we could save that then. And then you've made yourself a new test. Uh, back again. Uh, now uh, we were going to talk about the hot plate. So let me go in the edit process for the bake recipe. There's all sorts of recipes, things that you can change different steps so the hot plate can be at one temperature and then go up or down. Uh, again, it's the same thing. Right now, our hot plate is um, right about at 300 degrees. I've got a little probe on there. It's about 285. Every time you open this up, it'll get a little colder. But it's simple to change. Um, you could just go into the temperature. You could clear it and put in 200 degrees, for example. And... Uh, Set plate temperature overall, that's the set step time. Um, 
Uh, change that again, same thing. Uh, you could change it to 200. Uh, and we'll save that under, uh, um, let's just call this Hot Plate 2. Hot Plate uh, AA. There you go. There. So now this hot plate will cool down to 200 degrees. Finally, the last one is diagnostics. That's really nice and simple. We'll look at the spin diagnostics. Uh, it'll tell you the different sensors. For example, here it shows that the lid closed sensor. If I open the lid, you'll see it go on and off. If I want to put the spin on, so now the vacuum is on and the spin sensor it's on, I can actually spin the chuck. And we can go back. And that's all there is really to running the system. We'll leave you with a running program. Uh, I'll go back to the first one I had on there. Oop, sorry. And test zero is up. We are center and we'll spin. And that completes this demonstration.